Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and anybody that's new, welcome. So today, I'm, you know, if you follow my, have followed my channel for a while, you know I like to make different things. I came up with this idea that I just wanted to make a Barbie bed, just really weird out of the blue and um, kind of excited about it. a bunch of different little ideas that I've come up with. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the back headboard. Uh, we're gonna start with 12, a uh, row of 12 facing up, it's the exact same thing three times, and then the four on the bottom. So the total Django blocks will be 40 for the back headboard. So you're gonna have to glue them, I wrote them down here, like such. Now, in the last couple of videos, if you've watched, you know that I love to use Wellbond glue. I prefer it 100 times over E6000. I find it works really. I did a test actually on two sets of Jenga blocks. I tried a board and I used Wellbond and I use E6000 and it was a lot harder to break the blocks apart with the Wellbond than it was to use E6000. Now I wouldn't suggest gluing them together with hot glue unless you're using Gorilla Glue sticks. The only reason being is because if, you, if your child is gonna be playing with it rough, uh, it will probably break and I don't think you want that. So I'd suggest to make sure just to use some really good glue. Um, I guess there's wood glue. I've never used wood glue, so I really can't comment on that. But let's get started. I'm gonna glue these together, let them dry, and we'll move, I'll come back and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so now that I let it sit, I let it sit for a few hours. It's pretty solid. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna make like a turf look. So I found these, I found this roll of felt at Dollar Tree. It's a lot thinner than the single, let me grab this. I don't know if you've seen the single sheets that they have and they come in multi colors. I bought a few of these because I'm gonna use them for different pieces, but since the headboard was a little bit bigger, I did get the roll of the thin felt. All I did was fold it over twice. And I did add an extra one of the, the single ones on top just for extra padding. Oops. So what I'm gonna do, I, were, oh, I actually glued them as well. So I just glued them with some regular tape or regular, I used the E6000 glue to glue them together so they don't come apart. Now, I wouldn't suggest on this felt part to use the glue gun at all because the glue gun tends to leave sometimes little bumps and you don't want that uh, showing through on the material that we're gonna put over this. So what you'll need to do is you'll put your headboard on there. You're gonna fold it over. I would cut that corner out <clears throat> or you can just tuck it in like such. And then you're gonna glue it all the way around. Now, I'm just gonna use the hot glue because when you turn it over, you're gonna see the opposite side. So once I glue all that, you will have it done. I'm just gonna flip it. I'm not gonna sit here and glue and make this video super long, gluing on the camera. So once I do glue it on, just imagine it's all tucked underneath. Dollar Tree had these faux leather that came out a couple months ago. I bought a couple just because you never know when you want to make something with them. I had a few ideas and uh, I didn't start anything anyway. So I bought the white one that came, I think, in a brown, black, white, and navy. So let's pretend that the felt's on here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... So... You're going to have to take it and measure how much you're going to need. So once the felt is glued on there, you're going to do the same thing over the side. So it's going to be, the felt's going to be glued on, let me show you on this side. So the felt will be glued and then I would make it just, depending where you have it, let's see. Oops. 
I would make the leather just go over a little bit more. Okay, why it's hard to move on here. And you will do the exact same thing. So then once you are done, you will have the square. They will bo both be glued to the back because once we're done that, we will put another piece of leather just on the back so you don't see the back. Of, that will be the back of the headboard anyway, so it will come to the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm off camera, I'm just gonna glue it all and then I'll show you and then we'll, we'll move on from there. Okay, I just wanted to show you that I finally glued on the leather, faux leather part of it. And this is the back of it now. So, sorry, you won't see that. I just want to, sh I'll show you that after. So what I want to do, I grab some of that, the thinner felt. I'm just going to glue it inside. And you could use leather, but then you have to have a third box for that. So for this one, you would only need two boxes of the fake leather. I'm just going to take a piece of the single felt from DT gonna glue this one down just because I wanted to give it a little bit of height just because of the folding in a bit and then I'm gonna just glue that right on the back like this so that will be the back of the headboard I'll move that out of the way the next step that we're gonna do is we're gonna do the railings so the railings on each side of the bed will be 10 Jenga blocks and these uh, let me just mention these ones are actually comparable to the Dollar Tree these are the Dollarama ones uh, they're I'll show you between let me see if I have one here I'll just show you the size between the regular size Jenga block and so the regular size Jenga block is like this let me move this out of the way these oh sorry this is the regular size Jenga block. It's the ones that I used for some of my other crafts. This is the middle size one that I got at Dollarama, but I believe these one would be the comparable to the Dollar Tree, uh, Dollar Tree regular ones. And this is the mini from Dollar Tree, just to show you the three difference in sizes that I'm using. So we are using the middle one. So they will be on the sideways, so two, and it'll be vertically, so that, whoops, that will be glued, so it will be the side. You're gonna use the same steps as you did for the headboard, except the back of the railing, you're not gonna need to do anything to it, putting anything on it, because it will be on the inside of the bed and you won't see it. And I will just show you like I did this is the back. I've already did the railing. I'm not going to flip it over because that's a different step. I've already done something on the other side of it. I will show you after. So you'll need to make two sets of these for one on either side of the headboard. And for the footboard, let me move these ones out of the way. For the footboard, it's just going to be higher than the actual railing itself. It will be like this. A little bit higher so you can tuck in the blanket near the bed instead of having it the same size of the side railings we're doing it a little bit taller so this footboard will be upright just one and 12 block total the railings are 20 well let's so there'll be 62 blocks all together so this one will be for the railings will be 20 blocks. Oh, sorry, my mistake. It'll be 72 blocks. So the box I used, I'm not sure about the DT ones, are 42. So looks like um, I'm just under two boxes for a pack of 42. And you will repeat the same step for the footboard. The footboard, though, we're going to do a little bit different. I'm going to show you after, like, with this railing, you're just going to do it here. The footboard, we're going to make it end near the bottom. But I will show you that doing the same concept as a headboard, 
but instead of having it flipped over, we're gonna flip it over a bit longer so it's tucked underneath the mattress that I'm gonna show you how we'll do a mattress after. So let me get these done, finish these railings, and then I will come back and show you what we will do for supports and the mattress. All right, I just wanted to show you. So I finished all uh, four pieces. Now, it all depends on what you wanna do with your, if you wanna put some trivets, diamonds. I, don't, I think that's what they're called, trivets. These are just tacks. Uh, I did a test piece earlier. And I'm just still trying to figure out if I want to do them on the sides or not. I'm not too sure yet. But this is the part before you put the bed together because you're going to have to use a hammer and nails. So whatever design, unless you want to just do up the sides. I've kind of did it on an angle. And I don't know, I just kind of made some design myself. So with the foam, it should give a little bit of a trivet indent in it. Now, this is how I did it on this one. So what, and I did a test one that worked out pretty good. You're, I would just take all of them off and then mark them with a little pencil where they are. You take a little nail and a hammer and you just put a little hole in it with the hammer lightly, pull it out, and then you'll be able to stick this in really good and just push it down now you could leave it at that and i haven't decided what i'm going to do yet but i might just leave it at that once that's in now these are just thumbtacks that i got at dollar tree but i did get these diamonds uh at michael's and they come on all different sizes. They were in the clearance section for $5. It was a pretty big box, so it was a good deal. So you could also, if you wanted to bling it up some more, once you get the tacks in, you just can glue the diamonds on it once, they're, once you put them all in. Now, this is the design I have set up, and I'm just going to keep it, move it over here. And I'm just gonna bring this one up. So this is the end board. So like I was saying before, I wasn't, um, when you are putting the leather on, you're kind of like wrapping a gift. So the sides I left kind of open here. You can close them. So once the bed is together, I'm gonna use these Django blocks. You're gonna make sure they're nice and straight on there because this is gonna be like a platform part. And we'll show you what we will use to keep the fake mattress we're gonna make. But the bottom part, because you're gonna see on the inside a little bit, so I did stick it sticking out a little bit on top and I kind of folded it like you were folding a present. I don't know if you can see that right here where it's folded down. So when you tuck it, the last part would be tucking it over and that would be, this is the outer part, and this will be the in part. So the part that sticks out, you're not gonna see, it's gonna be covered, mm, I say over half uh, with the mattress. If you cannot find this leather, there's different options. Obviously you can get different material. Uh, if you all seen my Chanel purse that I made, the hula hoop purse, DT also has these little pillows that you could get and you could also do it with this material because this material works really great. I worked with it on the hula hoop purse, worked amazing. So if you can't find the leather, you can always opt for a different material. You could do velvet. There's so much end up, you know, different possibilities that you could use. I will be using these ones in a pink one and I will show you that later. So I'm gonna get all the trivets in and then I'm gonna come back and show you what I've used for the legs that we'll be using for the legs and then we'll move on to the mattress and the support and we're gonna do a blanket before I go to do, carry on to do this off screen because it's gonna be hammering a lot and it's gonna take time. I just wanna remember that I am doing a contest on giving a bunch of mini Jenga blocks away. I'm gonna be doing it on this channel. I'm also gonna be doing it on my Facebook page, The Crafty Shopper. So please stay tuned for that. That will be coming up, I believe, in the next couple of weeks. I'm just trying to iron out some details about that. Make sure you like and subscribe. Now, if you'd like to see more, I have a few other ideas for some Barbie furniture. 
if you uh, like in the comments, tell me uh, what you guys think. I have some cool ideas. If you want to see some more Barbie furniture, let me know. So let me get this all put to, uh, all settled with the tacks in and the trivet part, show you, and then we'll go on to gluing it. Okay, I did the trivets. I'm just going to show you. So I put the trivets. You can see there's the full leather kind of moves a bit. I did put them on the end born. I don't like them, so I'm going to keep them anyways. I'm not going to redo it. The sides I've decided to opt out on. Now, before we put it together, I did remember telling you that we have to glue these three pieces on, which will be the supports for the little beams that we're gonna put in. So you need to make sure they're nice and straight and glued on with some, I'm using Weld Bond, um, some glue here, like such. So I will do those off camera. Now, I wanna show you the legs I'm gonna use. Now you can use a few different things. I've decided to, I actually, like I mentioned in another video that I did, I believe, the last video so I found these wood blocks they're I don't know where they're from I actually went to the thrift store I always look in the building section I was able to find Jenga blocks there and I always can find some wood pieces for whatever craft I do so I got a really big bag for a couple bucks so I ended up getting these ones they're just little square blocks I did paint them with Mod Podge and glitter and then I just sprayed a Mod Pod sealer that I got from Michaels on it. So these are going to be the legs of the bed. So putting the legs on the bed now I would do piece by piece when you glue them and make sure they're glued on straight. So I would put the board the backboard down and like the other side and you're gonna have to find something I glue these on first and then I would move on to the second part of putting the inside. But while you're gluing those on, I'd also do the, the side pieces of the Jenga as well to make sure that these are nicely glued on. So when you're not trying to glue them on and they're falling off once you start putting these on to the headboard. And it goes for the same thing for the back, uh, for the end piece. So gluing those on there and you can do the exact same I'm just trying to pay attention here face down and line them up to the proper place which would be here because these are going to work like a little ledge for when you put your brackets on as well as gluing it so that you will have a space between the the footboard and the headboard when you do put them on and that's where these will rest on but they'll also be glued right on to the footboard and the headboard but it gives it a nice little extra now there's different things you could probably use if you want to glue different you can find maybe some big beads um there's a lot of little different ideas that you can change it up you don't always have to follow exactly the same you can always change it up and if you have your own ideas so i'm going to get these started glued and we're going to come back and I will have this all put together, the frame, and then I will show you for the support and the, what we're going to use for the mattress. Okay, I glued everything together. I used the hot glue and the weld bond uh, for extra and a little bit extra sturdiness. I did add two screws in the back. I'm just going to show you on that side. I will cover them up with some white paint. I screwed it back in from there uh, in the headboard into the side rails. The only thing I suggest is when you're doing it, take your time. I went right through the letter, leather and I used a drill bit, a fine drill bit smaller than the nail that I screwed in there. And I went through and there was zero problems with that. Now, I didn't do the footboard. I actually went underneath the footboard. Let me flip it over here. And as you can see, I went through the footboard up to there just for extra security and just for extra I just wanted an extra sturdiness on this oh and for the slats I used these are like jumbo paint sticks I'm not sure if I got them at DT or Dollarama I just glued two together I cut according to the measurements this one I just did that and then I just cut them on both sides 
These are glued down and it's super solid. I can push really hard and they're solid on that. So for the mattress, I want to do is I grab the chair cushion from DT. And the great thing about it is it's not even glued down to, I mean, I guess you can keep it on, but you have to cut around anyways to take it off. So I already pre-measured. So you're just, I just found the best. So cutting there to there should fit in perfectly. I don't know if I'm going to use one or two. I'm going to try to see if I want the mattress higher or not. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I am going to use a mattress cover and I'm going to use the satin pillowcase from DT. Now it's the white satin. I used it for my Chanel purse, hula hoop purse that I made. It is kind of funny when you cut it. I'm not a sewer. I don't have a sewing machine or anything like that. And it kind of frays a lot. I guess it's just the material. Like I said, I don't, I'm not really a sewer. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fully wrap the thing, uh, wrap the mattress, the foam. And I'm just going to seal it when I, when I wrap it. And I'll probably put it at the bottom part of the pillowcase. And when I do cut, I will just fold it over and hot glue it. I'm not, it's not like I'm going to be changing it or, or anything. And you can just wrap it around over there if you wanted to change that. So let me get the foams cut, well, whether I put one or two, and we'll get the mattress in there. We'll work on a comforter. I got to have an idea for a comforter. And I also have the little nightstand. Okay, so I opted for two form, uh, foams, sorry, excuse me, and I just glued them together so they fit perfectly in the bed. So the next step would be, so I pulled out my, I was trying to figure out how I was going to do this. I pulled out the Dollar Tree satin satin uh, pillowcase and I wanted two things. I wanted a fitted sheet and I wanted a top sheet. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take it to the one corner of of the pillowcase and you're going to end up cutting it out. I'm probably just going to hot glue it and I'm going to wrap it kind of like the present we did showing like on the railings of the bed and the headboard is wrap it so when it sits it looks nicely fitted then on the other half which i have measured it will be well more than enough let me move it over this way now i did when i used this one for the chanel hula hoop purse i did iron it and it really came out nice and um got all the wrinkles out so the top sheet I'm going to end up cutting it out. doesn't matter what side I cut it on. No, we'll just move it over on this side. I'm going to cut it out that it's a little bit longer, probably uh, about that much. I don't know if you can see that. About, say, two inches on each side. So when you put it, and you're only going to have the one side, but you're going to put the the shiny part on the other side so when you flip over the comforter you will see the nice shiny part sticking over so i'm going to do that and once that's done i'm going to show you the next step and we'll go on from there okay so i end up putting the i end up wrapping just all the way around and i just glued it on the underneath I got the mattress with the satin pillowcase. I took one of these pillows from DT. They came out with, a, I think, a teal. I know they came with the white and they came with the pink, you know, with Barbie with pink. All I did was open one side. Actually, I opened both sides because I want them flat because it was too tucked on one side. So I haven't glued them yet, but I'm going to show you. So once you open them up, they become a little bit longer. So I am going to glue those. But what I liked is I wanted the scallop facing down. And I omitted the sheet that I was going to do because I wanted it tucked in. Just because if you did the sides, you actually want to show the fake leather sides. So... The next thing, I am going to take this other pillow and I'm actually going to cut some squares out. I'm going to make some pillows. I'm actually going to make some pillows. Same idea with the foam. But when you take the stuffing out 
of the pillow on either one. Uh, I have a little bag on the side. Keep them for future craft that you might want to use them for. But I'm actually going to keep them and I'm actually going to use the silk pillows. And I'm going to do some pink pillows. And I'm going to stuff them using the stuffing. And I am also have from my hula hoopers, I still have some white material. I think I'm just going to put a lot of pillows on the bed. Who doesn't like pillows on their bed, right? Especially Barbie. So let me just do that. It's going to be the same concept. Just, I'm just going to use the hot, glun, hot, the hot glue gun. I am not going to sew them. Um, let me get that done, and then we're going to move on to the dresser. Okay, so for the nightstand, I'm not sure with color what I'm going to do yet, but I'm just going to show you, and then I will show you after. I'm going to do it off camera because I probably might change it. I might paint it three times, and I don't want to tell you I'm going to paint it this color, and then, as you know, in some of my videos, I always change my mind. So I these little boxes at DT, I'm going to name a little chest, I guess, if you want to call them. I just took one of those. I actually took the hardware off, the front and the back. I filled it with pot, uh, uh, hole filler, plaster, you know, the ones, you, the kind that you put on the wall. I let it dry and then I sanded it down. So it is sealed. You can't open it like this. It's sealed shut. These are easily removed with just a little screwdriver. Now for the legs, I played with a bunch of different ideas. If you can't find them, you could probably just use a bunch of beads. You could also use Jenga blocks. Uh, I found these doll pegs. These are also from Dollar Tree. Um, let's see. I thought they kind of look more realistic for legs being wood. And it came with a pack of four. I tried to go back and I couldn't find some more because in case uh, I do some decide to do some more things. But I just thought it was a good idea. So... You can probably angle them. I'm going to try to angle them when I put them on, only because I just think it would look, well, you never know. I think they might just be fine the way way they are. I know I can't show you this way, but I thought angled might have just been a little bit more stylish. That's just me. I'll probably just put them on straight. I am probably, I'm going to try painting it white to see if I like. I thought about I was going to do a silver metallic. I wasn't sure if I'm gonna like that. I do know I wanna put some, now these are from Dollarama, they're a mini mirror tile, so they do, the little squares, they break up as much as you want. I was thinking about doing that maybe on the top, or I might just wanna do them as in the shape of drawers. I haven't done that, I'm gonna do it off the camera. I will explain to you when I come back. I just uh, have to play around with it a bit to see what, uh, at least what I like, I mean, there's many different ideas and there's no writing wrong and crafting. I know I keep saying that. Do what you feel that you like and what you think you might have a better idea than I do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these. I'm going to come back and show you the finished product and uh, we'll see you shortly. Okay, everybody, I thought I'd show you the end. So I just put a little setup here in the kitchen. Sorry, the light's a little bit off in here. It's more a little bit yellow than white so I just did the planter this is one of the DT planters uh it was black and I just end up painting it white I put some white glitter and just uh try to put a little bit more pink into it with the dresser I showed you the um, mirrored tiles I didn't actually like them I wanted I don't know it just looked a little bit off to me so I just put glitter on them I just glued them right on top with two little uh pearl stickers as drawer handles and I just sprayed it with a coat of Mod Podge the spray I got it at Michael's so if you would like want me to if you'd like to see some more um Barbie furniture leave a comment below please like and subscribe remember I have a Jenga block giveaway so make sure you watch my last couple videos because I'm going to ask you questions about them to be entered into this contest and thank you for watching and we'll see you soon bye